Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. His Excellency Susilo Bambang Yudeono, Mrs. Annie Bambang Yudeono, distinguished members of the Indonesian delegation, the Honorable Vice President Jejo Marbinay, Senate President Franklin Drilon, members of the Senate present, Speaker Feliciano Belmonte, members of the House of Representatives, Secretary Albert De Rosario, and members of the Cabinet, Your Excellency Giuseppe Pinto, and the members of the Diplomatic Corps, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, again, good evening. I've had the privilege of visiting Indonesia four times by now. And tonight, I have the distinct pleasure of welcoming Your Excellency, President Yudiono, to the Philippines. Tonight, as members of the Malay race, the Philippines and Indonesia celebrate our shared history, heritage, and aspirations. Ours is a solidarity that dates back to the ancient foundations of our societies, as a maritime people bound by trade, by culture, and by converging bloodlines. It is a partnership strengthened by the support we extended to each other as we both sought independence from foreign rule and a friendship that deepens as we tread the path to greater prosperity for our nations and our region. We are proud of this relationship. After all, it has served as a firm foundation of stability and cooperation in this part of the world. As true brothers, we also celebrate the fact that we have resolved a concern between us in an amicable manner as demonstrated in the agreement we reached as regards our exclusive economic zones in the Celebes Sea and the Mindanao Sea. This, I believe, serves as an important reminder of what can be achieved when parties come to the table with a sincere commitment to engage, engage in meaningful dialogue and uphold the rule of law. Your Excellency, the Filipino people are grateful for the sustained support your government and the people of Indonesia have shown for our peace process and security. Indonesia has always spoken in support of the Philippines in our endeavors in the organization of Islamic cooperation. We also deeply appreciate Indonesia's overwhelming humanitarian assistance in the aftermath of Typhoon Haiyan. May I also congratulate Your Excellency on your two successful terms as President. Under your reliable leadership, we have seen impressive reforms that have led to economic growth of Indonesia, a growth that has empowered your nation to be an influential voice in both regional and international affairs. Mr. President, as you may well remember, the last time we saw each other in Myanmar, I referred to you as our uncle, which in my dialect is Bapa, because you have acted like a real uncle to all of us in sharing with us your wisdom. I'm told that in Bahasa Indonesia, Bapa denotes respect in reference to a father or an elder. Regardless of its definition, whether in Kapampangan, my dialect, or Bahasa Indonesia, Bapa is a word attributed to an elder held in high esteem, which perfectly describes Your Excellency. And it is such that I pay tribute to you tonight by conferring on you, as a mark of the appreciation and esteem of our Republic, our highest order of diplomatic merit, which is the Order of Sikatuna with the rank of Ra. May I apologize in advance if I mispronounce my, the following Bahasa Indonesia words. President Yudiono has been a kaka lucky lucky to everyone in ASEAN. <laughs> I am told that lucky lucky pertains to a man to man in your language, while in Filipino, lucky means big. <laughs> so we can re really say that President Yudiono is not only our big brother, but also our lucky charm. <laughs> Indeed, I have so much confidence in Your Excellency that when I hear that Indonesia is doing so well, I say to myself, SBY must be Y. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in testimony to the achievements and the personal qualities of our Bapa, may I ask all of you to join me in a toast? To the continued good health and well being of our Kaka Laki Laki, His Excellency <laughs> Susilo Bambang Yudiono, the President of Indonesia, and to the First Lady, Madam Ani Bambang Yudiono. To the solidarity of our peoples and the ever-deepening friendship between our two nations, 
and to the realization of our shared aspirations of stability, peace, and prosperity in the ASEAN region. We say in the Philippines, Mabuhay. Mabuhay. Thank you, Mr. President. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Your Excellency, Benigno Simon Aquino III, distinguished guests, excellencies, ladies, and gentlemen. Firstly, I wish to thank you, Mr. President, and the people of the Philippines for warmly welcoming my wife and I. You have accorded us such hospitality and friendship, for which we are very grateful. In particular, I am humbled that your government has accorded me with the order of Sikatuna, with the rank of Raja. I accept this honor as a symbol of the close friendship between our two countries and nations. I also accept this honor on behalf of the people of Indonesia. Let me use this very opportunity to congratulate Your Excellency for all the achievements of your presidency. They have been wide-ranging and transformative. Allow me to cite two examples. Your economy has recorded an impressive growth a steady economic growth above 6% since 2012. And you can sustain this remarkable growth even when the world is engulfed in a global economic crisis. Therefore, it is not surprising that the Philippines has been designated as Asia's bright spot and the new Asian tiger by a number of international media. Such economic successes cannot be separated from your effort to eradicate corruptions. The Philippines ranking in this year's Transparency International's Corruption Perception Index has improved quite significantly. This truly reflects international community's confidence on your government's tenacity in rooting out this challenge. I also wish to commend you to the recent signing of the Comprehensive Agreement on Bangsamoro. This achievement will further contribute to lasting peace in your country. Indonesia is proud to have taken part in the peace process in the Southern Philippines through the organizations of Islamic cooperation. I am confident that building on this peace dividend, your country will gain more success in many other fields. I believe we should combine our respective potential and strengths for the common goods of our people. And I am glad that our bilateral relations are indeed on the right track with plenty of room for further expansion. We should seize the momentum from the historic achievement we made during today's bilateral meeting, particularly on our agreement on the delimitations of our exclusive economic zone borders. By having this agreement, we can boost our cooperation in maritime and ecotourism sectors, while at the same time tackle transnational crimes. Such an agreement shows to the region and the world that with strong determination, countries can resolve their maritime dispute peacefully through negotiation. Hence, we reject the use of force to resolve any kind of outstanding border dispute. In the economic sector, we welcome the continued growth of our trade 
and investment cooperation. We believe there remains a lot untapped potential, and therefore, in the bilateral meeting, we have agreed to facilitate increased interaction between our business communities. I am glad that Your Excellency has supported my suggestion to organize a business-to-business -business meeting to chart a clear business roadmap for the future. We have agreed to bring together our business communities within the next two months. As our country are very prone to natural disaster, we have also agreed to strengthen cooperation in disaster mitigation. In fact, we have a good track record of such cooperation, such as during the aftermath of the tsunami in Aceh and Yolanda Typhoon in the southern Philippines. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, my visit to the Philippines is truly special as our diplomatic relations are reaching 65 years. In less than a century, the Philippines has become one of the Indonesia's po most important partner for prosperity, peace, and stability. And as we continue our cooperation for many years to come, I believe that the close cooperation that we have enjoyed thus far will continue to blossom. I am a strong believer in this. In addition to what we have been pursuing together, I propose that we strengthen cooperation on migrant worker issues. As the two largest source of migrant workers, I believe we need to ensure that the rights of our migrant workers are respected by the host countries. I am pleased that we have made progress in our migrant protections in ASEAN. We need to take the campaign and action further at the global level. The signing of agreement on anti-terrorism cooperation provides us with a solid framework to jointly address this common threat. We must remain alert toward the threat of terrorism. This cooperation will add value to our respective efforts in maintaining security. Security is essential in the implementations of our joint economic development plans, including in the Pimpiaga growth area. And as we are archipelagic countries, we need to give more attention to the development of our connectivity capacities and transportation. Your Excellency, as a final note, I wish to learn Indonesia's content, constant support for peace and prosperity of the people of the Philippines. Let us also pray that Your Excellency President Benigno Aquino be continually blessed with the health and steadfastness in carrying out his duties in leading this great nation. And now, I would like to invite Your Excellency, as well as the distinguished guests, to stand and rise our glasses in a toast for the well-being and happiness of His Excellency President Benigno Aquino and for the development, prosperity, and close relation between the people of Indonesia and the Philippines.